Hey, what's up guys? Imran here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and make my frunk on my 21 Tesla Model T Performance automatic. Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, welcome back. Here is my 21 Tesla Model T Performance. Uh, the artwork is done by my kids. But uh, here we are, I've got the front open. We're gonna go ahead and first uh, open up the box that the actual supports come in. Again, we're gonna be changing out essentially uh, the stock hydraulic, I guess, lift you can call them or rods or whatever you wanna call them. Should be a pretty simple install. But um, let me go ahead and first open these up. All right. Let's go ahead and open these up. It is a bright sunny day, so I apologize um, on the harsh sunlight, I guess, not exactly studio lights. But, um, one, it's two. Literally, that's all that comes in the box itself uh, are just the two rods. They look like they're uh, pretty much the same as the ones that are on there. So let's go ahead and take those off and then we'll put these on and see what it's like. All right, for the install, it looks like there is a little spot here to push this out. Uh, so essentially you put a screwdriver in it and you should be able to is it lift it out or push it out. Let me see. So you lift it open and pull it out and then the bottom should be the same way if I'm not mistaken. So let's see if I can show this to you. There is the same type of a notch which looks very similar to that. You just put a screwdriver into it, pull it out and it comes out. So let me go ahead and try getting the bottom one out now. just like that. I'm gonna leave this here while I get the replacement one. Here's the replacement. This one goes in the bottom. Again you put the screwdriver in there and uh, put the ball right in there. So let's do that. I mean, I guess first line it up so that way when I get the screw in there, I can pull back on it and get it in there. Just like that, it's in there. Now this does rotate. I don't know if it's supposed to rotate. That is a little bit shorter. As you can see, it's not exactly the same length. So I think I'm gonna have to pull this down just a little bit. Uh, like that, maybe. And then do the same thing. Pull that in there. And lock it in. Okay, it looks like it's in there pretty securely. Let me go ahead and uh, come around to the other side. We'll do the same thing on this side here. The noise that you're hearing is my AC coming on, so I'm going to quickly turn off my climate control from, of course, the fan. There you go. Now that that's off. That one 
it's in there. So let's take a look at the force on this right now. This is going to go down. That one is. This one's not for whatever reason. Okay. Not sure why this one is not coming down. So I'm going to quickly release it and take it out. And see if I can figure out why this one's not closing. Um, Alright. Let me pause this for a second. Alright. So let's take a look and see. I'm going to show you guys uh, what I did as far as trying to get that other rod on um not sure exactly if i'm gonna keep it but as you can see it does open essentially what happens is there's a lot of a lot more force on uh, the new ones that i put in but for whatever reason uh, the second one i cannot get it to work it's either jammed or something so i'm not sure what i did was i just put the original one back on um, so basically what's happening now is this one is a lot more powerful and this one is the original one but it still is able to open up the trunk as I just showed you. Now, am I going to keep this on? Probably not. I'm going to contact the manufacturer and see if I can get uh, replacement ones, but I'll go ahead and open it from the app here again. You guys can see it does in fact open it. So is it automatic? Yes, uh, just because of the forks itself. But um, again, the second one is not working, so I will have to either get a replacement for now, I probably will leave these on. Uh, I'm not sure if having one on versus the other is gonna cause any issues. Originally putting it on, I did notice this one being uh, slightly shorter than this one, but I'm assuming that because this is shorter, it's only gonna open up to a certain length or a certain height, I should say, which means this is capable of going further, but it simply wouldn't just because this one's smaller. Um, so I don't think it'll be an issue. I personally don't use my frunk a whole lot, but I wanted to try this out and see as an option for when I do use it for it to open up automatically. So for now, I will go ahead and leave just the left one on with the right one being the OEM, the original one. I'll go ahead and contact the manufacturer, see if they can give me a replacement. Um, if they don't, I did buy this off Amazon, which again, link in the description below. I'll just basically go ahead and take this one off and probably return it. Uh, but let me know what you guys think if you see yourself buying this and putting it on just so you can automate your frunk uh, or not but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video obviously it wasn't a complete success just because the second one's not working it's jammed or whatever uh, but this was a hopefully a nice alternative if you are in the market for having this to be automated if not if you don't want to go this route then of course there's other kits available which are uh, basically more powered or wired uh, you can go ahead and purchase those kits and make this fully automatic if you wanted to but this is a cheaper alternative only being about 30 bucks um, for a nice setup hopefully once you get it to work all right hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time goodbye Real quick, full disclosure, uh, I will not take any responsibility if you mess up your trunk or mess up the alignment or any shape or form. This of course is just an educational video based on my install and my skill set and my understanding. If you disagree or you end up damaging your car in some shape or form, um, you assume responsibility. But with me testing it out, hopefully you guys can see it didn't cause any damage to my car. Um, I'm not worried about the alignment of the frunk it closes as it should let me quickly show you that as well a little bit more force in uh, trying to close it but you guys can see it is aligned as it should be all right now i'll see you guys next time goodbye